In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the indefinite integral using integration by tables. So let's start with this example problem. What is the integral of 1 divided by x squared times the square root of 1 minus x squared dx? So the first thing you need to do is identify the appropriate formula to use. And typically, you could find this in the back of your calculus textbook or maybe you have to look it up on Google Images or something. But here's the formula that you need for this particular example. The integral of 1 over u squared times the square root of a squared minus u squared du, this is equal to negative 1 over a squared u times the square root of a squared minus u squared plus c. So what we need to do is convert this expression into one that contains the u variable. So we can clearly see that x squared and u squared, they're the same. So if u squared is equal to x squared, that means that u is equal to x and du is equal to dx. Now we could also see that a squared is 1 squared. So if a squared is 1 squared, then a is 1. Now, since du is equal to dx, what we can do is simply plug everything into this formula, and we'll get the right answer. So the answer is going to be negative 1 divided by a squared, which is 1, times u, which is x, times the square root of a squared, which is also 1, minus u squared, that's x squared plus c. So you can write the final answer like this. Negative square root 1 minus x squared over x plus c. And that is the answer. Now let's work on another example. Go ahead and find this indefinite integral. Feel free to take a minute and try this problem. So let's start by identifying the formula that we need. The integral of du divided by u squared times the square root of u squared plus a squared. This is equal to negative square root a squared plus u squared divided by a squared u plus c. So that's the formula that we need to use. So how should we begin? What do you think we need to do here? Well, we need to identify the values of u and a. Notice that u squared is 4x squared, and a squared is 9. So let's make a note of that. So if u squared is 4x squared, that means u is the square root of 4x squared, which is 2x. And if a squared is 9, a is the square root of 9, which is 3. Now, if u is 2x, du is 2 times dx. So notice that du doesn't equal dx in this problem. So when you get a situation like this, you need to convert this expression, changing all of the x variables into u variables, and then you can apply the formula. Because you need to incorporate the 2 in your final answer. Now, once you get to this step, solve for dx by dividing both sides by 2. So dx is du over 2. Now, notice that we need to convert this expression into this formula. So we have a u squared here, and we also need a u squared in front of the radical. So somehow, we need to put a 4 in front of x squared. To do that, we're going to multiply the top and the bottom by 4. So now we have this expression. 4 over 4x squared times square root of 4x squared plus 9 and then times dx. So now at this point we can replace 4x squared with u squared and this one as well. So we're going to have 4 
on top and on the bottom u squared and then another u squared and we can replace 9 with a squared and don't forget this crucial step replace dx with du over 2 Now, 4 divided by 2 is 2, and I'm going to put that in the front. And so this, I'm just going to move closer to the integral. So we have 2 times the integral of du divided by u squared times the square root of u squared plus a squared. So now we can apply this the formula for this integral, which we know what it is. So earlier we said that it was negative square root a squared plus u squared divided by a squared times u plus c. Now if we applied this formula without doing this entire process, we would forget this important too, and that will change our entire answer. So if du doesn't equal dx, you need to convert this expression into this form and then apply this formula. Now before I erase the top part of the board, let's make a note that u is equal to 2x and a is equal to 3 based on what we have here. So all we need to do now is plug in u and a into that expression. So it's going to be negative 2 times the square root of a squared, which is 3 squared, so that's 9, and u squared, that's going to be 2x squared or 4x squared, divided by a squared times u, u is 2x, and then plus c. So we can cancel a 2. And so the final answer is going to be negative square root 9 plus 4x squared divided by 9x plus c. And that is the final answer. So that's how you can perform integration by tables. You just need to identify the right formula and then convert the integral expression from the x variable to the u variable and then apply the formula that you're dealing with. And that's it. Let's work on one more problem. Find the indefinite integral of x squared divided by the square root of 5 minus 4x squared. So feel free to use your textbook to find the appropriate formula that goes with that expression. And so here it is. The integral of u squared divided by the square root of a squared minus u squared du, that's going to be negative u over 2 square root a squared minus u squared plus a squared over 2 arc sine u divided by a plus c. So clearly we can see that u squared is 4x squared, which means that u is equal to 2x and du is 2dx. So du doesn't equal dx. There's a constant we're going to have to deal with. So we need to change this expression into one containing the u variable and then apply the formula. Now we can see that a squared is equal to 5, which means that a is the square root of 5. And if we divide both sides by 2 in that expression, dx is du over 2. Now we need to get rid of the x squared and turn it into a u squared. So we need a 4 in front of the x squared. We're going to multiply the top and the bottom by 4. And so we can replace this with u squared. And we can replace the 5 with a squared. And then this is also equal to u squared. And then we need to replace dx with du divided by 2. So on the bottom, we have 4 times 2, which is 8. And we're going to move that to the front of the integral. So it's 1 over 8 
integral of u squared du divided by the square root of a squared minus u squared. Now we need to substitute this integral with this expression. So basically we just got to multiply this expression by 1 over 8. So this is going to equal 1 over 8 times what we see here. And now all we need to do is replace u with 2x and a squared with 5 and a with the square root of 5, which for some reason I forgot to write it here. So the final answer is going to be 1 over 8, and then u is 2x, a squared is 5, u squared is 4x squared, and then arc sine, this is going to be u over 8, or 2x divided by the square root of 5 and then plus c. So we could cancel the 2, and that's about it. So now let's distribute this fraction. So we have 1 over 8x square root 5 minus 4x squared. And let's not forget about the negative sign. And then plus 5, 8 times 2 is 16, arc sine 2x divided by the square root of 5 plus c. And so this is the final answer. So that's the indefinite integral of this expression.